Now I'm going to take this opportunity to um, tell you a little bit about Dobara. Dobara is a nonprofit organization. And we are based in Hyderabad, India. But our entire network of volunteers and members spans the globe. Our main focus at Dobara is senior well being. Uh, supporting elders and empowering volunteers and encouraging intergenerational bonding. Dobara was started seven years ago by Mateen Ansari, who is a gerontologist. She studied the science of aging. Dobara is her way of sharing her knowledge and promoting healthy and active aging among her friends. Uh, Well-being is an important term for all of us here at Dobara. This term includes the way we feel emotionally, mentally, physically, and socially. Together, all of these aspects form the very essence of living. So what the Bara does to promote well-being is it creates and provides programs, events, networks, volunteer opportunities and projects for all of our members. So that our members can join in, participate, utilize these avenues to achieve their own personalized sense of a balanced state of well-being. Dobara is all about kindness and compassion. All of our members are also our volunteers. So every one of us at Dobara is responsible for spreading well-being, and we do it in our own unique way. From visits to old age homes, to phone calls checking in on seniors, home visits, safe neighborhood networks, pandemic support for seniors, um, homemade meals, caregiver support, senior vaccination drives. If it involves senior well being, then Dobara is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Today's program is part of our Dobara In Memoriam project. It is one of the small aspects of Dobara which was formed as part of our grief support. Uh, in this project, we provide support to individuals and families by helping them find unique, different ways um, to honor the memory of their loved one. So with this in mind, I now I'm going to hand it over to my mother, my mom, the founder of the Vara, Matina Park. A warm welcome to all the participants. Salaamu Alaikum, Adabars, and good evening to all of you. Namaskar. A warm welcome to all the participants. A sincere thank you to Dr. Farida Hussain and family for entrusting the Vara with this opportunity for the third consecutive year to honor her mother, Begum Khatija Ansari. Begum Khatija Ansari was passionate about poetry and our way of honoring her and remembering her is through encouraging upcoming poets and established poets all together on the same platform. So in 200, 2019, it was an in-person event at the Vimal Mahmood Foundation at Masab Tank. 2020 was a Zoom event, and now it's 2021, and we are all here together in full force to enjoy the evening. Apart from organizing this event, Dobara helps families of the deceased to find ways of donating in the memory of the loved ones. This year, Dobara has connected Mrs. Farida Hussain to an old age home where there are men, women, and uh, totally bed bound seniors. It's a charitable organization. Here, Mrs. Farida Hussain and her family have sent rice, hygiene packets for each of the 86 residents, and clothing for the men, women, and bed, sheet for the, bed sheets for the bed bound seniors. And uh, we have photographs from these events to share with you later. And uh, with this, uh, I think we'll begin our evening of poetry. And uh, now I invite Mrs. Farida Hussain to tell us about her dear mother, Begum Khatija Ansari. Thank you, Mr. 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 Ansari.
All over to you, Farida Hussain. Farida Hussain. Um, Mom, I don't see Farida Aunty in the guest list. Would you like to call on uh, Dr. Amina, maybe? Dr. Amina Hussain, would you like to take the lead and then she joins in? And Asfar is also with us. So Asfar is the grandson and Amina Hussain is the niece. Amina Kishore. Amina Kishore, sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah, right, right, fine, fine. Uh, Farida Hussain is actually Farida Ansari. So that, that way I'm not in Ansari either. I'm Amina Ahmed, now Amina Kishore. Uh, I would like to uh, take the lead in the sense that uh, Farida Appa will be, I think, more detailed and she'll give us the facts of uh, Khatija Khala's life. But I would like to tell you my perspective of uh, this charming lady. Uh, and my perspective might be a little different. So I think it fits in with the, what I think of Dubara also. Uh, when a senior member of a family passes on, it's very uh, usual for a long time for the survivors to remember her last moments, the last words she spoke, her last touch. You know, it's very odd, common to be like that. For a long, long time, you seem not being able to forget uh, those things. And they keep you in that moment of shock. And each time you remember the person, your eyes blur with tears. But I think it's very important that we try to overcome that initial shock and that moment of uh, sorrow and try to evaluate the life of the person who has left us and try to see how much of herself she has left with us. And I think that is the way to, uh, to, to acknowledge the passing away of somebody as charming as Khadija Khala was. And Khadija Khala, uh, I know her since my childhood. She was the first cousin of my mother. Actually, my mother and she, I think, were the same age. And uh, they, uh, they, they were so both so beautiful. We used to call them Jurwa Pariya. Uh, I used, in my, my brothers and I always used to say that Jurwa Pari has come to visit our mother. So this was, uh, and they belonged to the same a common culture and a common background, a family. They shared a nani. Uh, and therefore, for me, it was uh, loving Khadija Khala was as easy for me as loving uh, my mother. The, 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 my mother also passed away recently and the twin loss uh, has taught me to think that one should not allow the, the sorrow of the moment to overcome um, my evaluation, our evaluation of the, uh, the person and her real personality. Khadija Khala was a beautiful person and uh, you all know, I'm not talking about uh, her being uh, her looks, or anything, and we all know that beauty of the spirit, beauty of speech, beauty of, I cannot describe that kind of beauty. I think we all understand when I say that it's the, um, I'm reminded of Lord Byron's poem, She Walks in Beauty. I used to even tell Khadija Khala that you, I think Lord Byron must have uh, perceived somebody like you and written that poem. So uh, it, it's, it's that kind of inner beauty that Khadija Khala represented for us. She was a gracious hostess. She, she was a loving elder, loving aunt um, in Delhi, in Hyderabad, in Nellore. Uh, I have encountered her beautiful personality in so many ways. As she moved on in, the, in her years, I remember that she became a very valued and a precious uh, center of the household. Uh, dear Nani B for her grandchildren, dear Ma and Mummy, Ammi for her children. And, and there was no moment when I visited her and she did not welcome us with open arms. She was most happy to see us and she would, you know, she would hold your hand in such a way that you knew you were wanted. Everyone felt that they were the most wanted with Khadija Khala. Khadija Khala had uh, many gifts. Out of those, I'll just talk of two today. Um, one was her love for poetry. I remember that she age did not mar her memory at all in uh, where poetry was concerned. She could uh, roll out a shar uh, at, the, at a, a moment's uh, notice. She could uh, recite shikwa, uh, long lines and lines from Iqbal's poem, shikwa. And we, we could just sit there and gape at her uh, knowledge. And uh, the second thing which always enthused her and uh, 
she was not a very talkative person but if we spoke of some recipes or some dishes uh, from um, her madrasi muslim uh, cuisine you know this they, that enthused her so much that she would go on and on about talking about recipes and dishes and all that uh, as she grew older as she grew older she grew into innocence she grew into innocence she grew into a very um, loving and a, a personality where almost like a child she would hold your hand and cling to you that uh, let me let me share with you a poem that i uh, i won't i won't read the poem at all because it is a evening for other poets definitely uh, but let me recite two lines from the poem that i wrote spontaneously on the day that i heard that fadida khala had passed on and i had titled that poem ammi ka kamra khali hai i won't read the whole poem at all just two lines here and there kal tak kamra basta tha kona kona hasta tha you know this was how i saw the room where i always visited uh, khatija khala and uh, her room being empty was something that struck me immediately and then uh, about her last days i wrote kab wo maa se ban gayi beti kab mai beti se ban gayi maa you know on behalf of farida pa i felt that the way farida pa mothered her and passed over her coaxed her persuaded her sang for her i i could see the total preoccupation of the daughter for the mother and i realized that this is what the mother must have done for the daughter when she was young and ammi ka kamra khali hai but i as i said ammi ammi ka kamra khali hona does not mean that ammi has gone away therefore there is a khula there is a khali pan i feel that we people who the next generation always steps in and takes on many of the prints many of the fingerprints many of the um, the 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 memories or imprints that they have left behind and i'm sure uh, farida hussain today's farida hussain is nothing but a continuation of her mother's personality this is how i would like to look at death death for me i think at my stage in life i would not like to think of death as Uh, the end of anything but i would like to think of it as a continuation into the next generation and i think most of you will share with me my ideas and uh, an era passes but the second generation takes over and passes on to the next generation and the next and the next uh, I, this is all i had to say thank you very much for the opportunity given to me thanks to you dobara in the beginning i'd like to thank uh, dobara for organizing this event um, they, they said this is a third uh, this thing for um, event of uh, on uh, ek sham makena but we started it in 1970 uh, 2017 itself when my mother passed away we held it in our house and uh, for twice and then uh, since we could not uh, accommodate more people in the house i requested mateen to organize it in a auditorium and we went to maheshwari towers and uh, we organized the event there a lot of uh, school children and all um, about uh, 17 schools took part in the uh, poetry competition poetry and uh, um, other competitions that we held and after that uh, this is uh, the third for the bara and uh, i'd like to say that why we are holding this uh, ek uh, sham makena is to remember her uh, not only her poetry uh, enthusiasm but also her uh, social work social activism that the uh, bara is also doing for older people Uh, me actually was uh, born in arkat tamil nadu uh, present tamil nadu and uh, it is a it was a smaller town uh, but uh, the activities in her house were of great importance of uh, um, political uh, importance because uh, 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 it was uh, a cradle of uh, political thought and resources uh, my grandfather my mother's father was a ardent freedom uh, fighter 
he, he has studied in uh, uh, Aligarh and uh, has had come to come in touch with a lot of freedom fighters uh, like uh, Shaukat Ali and uh, Zatir Hussain, Mulana Azad, and all these people. And my uncle, my, ma my mother's uncle actually, he was very much involved in the local uh, South Indian political struggle, that is the what they now call that uh, Dravida Kazakam, that is uh, AI, AI, DMK at present. And that actually was started at the house where my mother was uh, living. So she was exposed to political atmosphere right from her childhood. And she was very much involved in what was going on in the uh, political sphere, socio-political sphere, where uh, people were uh, discriminated against and there was poverty. All these things were discussed in the house. And she was exposed to all those things. So she was sensitive to all these things. When she got married in 1940 and shifted to Nellu, uh, another uh, uh, very important uh, town, it was uh, nearer to Madras, and uh, my father was very much involved in political struggle at that time. He was one of the uncontested MLAs, youngest MLAs of Madras presidency, and uh, Ami was exposed to all these things, and uh, she also joined in the effort to mitigate the hardships faced by uh, poor people. And uh, she was a great supporter of and uh, worker in Red Cross, Indian Red Cross. And in those days, especially during the summer time, the um, slum areas where there were a lot of these thatched houses they used to get, uh, I mean, fire would uh, uh, spread very fast and colonies of these uh, um, poor inhabitations used to get destroyed. And my mother was uh, married into a very traditional Khazi family. Khazi, they were the Khazis, my father's ancestors were Khazis of Bindur for generations. And uh, as such, they had to maintain certain sort of religious uh, traditions also. In spite of that, in those days, in 1940s, she used to mobilize funds for the Red Cross and take uh, physical things for uh, um, to the, the slum areas and distribute to them to rehabilitate all the people who were affected by the, the fires. And like that, she was very much involved in the uh, people's struggle. And uh, that uh, Red Cross the connection uh, was maintained till uh, my father retired as Chief Justice of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, uh, where in the, the Red Cross of Jammu and Kashmir, she joined there also along with Begum. Um, Sheikh Abdullah and uh, the chief secretary was Mr. Benerji. So Mrs. Benerji and my mother and Mrs. Sheikh Abdullah had done a lot for the uh, mobilization of funds for the trust and for giving support to the needy people of Jammu and Kashmir. So right from Nellur to Jammu, Kashmir, Delhi, she has been, she has been doing a lot of social activism and she has been doing a lot of things for the uplift of the poor. Uh, apart from her being a good hostess and a, uh, right uh, from Nellore onwards, her uh, parties, her um, hosting of uh, festivals, uh, because being the Khazi of Nellore, she had some responsibilities to that end also. And uh, he was very much into 
studies because at the time she got married, she was hardly 14, 15 years and she had to discontinue her studies because of the children, they were all coming in and they, and uh, so, but she had this ideal for herself, she had an ideal that she will get a degree, a minimum of that. So she studied uh, in a way, it, her education were a very strange, uh, this thing because uh, under Pardha system, she could not go to the college. So the teachers were coming to the house and she will sit at the one side of the door and the teacher will sit at the other side in between a ayah will sit and she will pass on the books from one side to the other. And that's how she uh, studied, but she did get her degree. Unfortunately, she could not take the degree personally because her uh, last child, my sister, youngest sister was born and the time was clashing with her delivery and uh, the, the um, giving away of degrees. And she was a, a very sport-loving person also. Right from the beginning, yeah, she used to take part in um, sports in um, Nellore. She was a very good badminton player, very good table tennis player. And, uh, and she was also, I think we have the photos, we'll be showing those photos uh, about her. Being, uh, she was always uh, in the winning team. She used to be a very enthusiastic sports person. And also she used to take part in cultural activities. In, and uh, she used to have this fancy dress competition. She used to take part in it. One of the dresses that, uh, one of the uh, dresses she wore for those competitions also can be also seen. Uh, and uh, she has a multifaceted personality, right from being a hostess to being a social activist, poetess, and uh, all the things, you know, uh, she could manage and balance them in such a way. Nobody felt neglected in any way. But at the same time, she could handle all the activities that uh, she was interested in without affecting the other activity. In that, all I want to say thing at Hara uh, for the event. And uh, let us proceed with the other speakers. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Martin, can you hear now? Hello. Yes, I think I'm next. Um, good evening. My name is Asfar. I'm uh, Mrs. Ansari's grandson. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mateen Aunty for inviting me to speak here. Uh, I'll keep it very short. Uh, I have great memories of my grandmother. Uh, we used to visit my grandparents very often uh, in all our holidays. Um, and right from a very early age, uh, during all our visits, I'm sorry. So I would always, I would always sleep between my grandparents, and um, so I had a very strong bond with them, and. Uh, you know, it's uh, oh, a part to reconcile that she isn't here. So I think some of the things that I learned from her her equanimity. Uh, she would never get upset. Uh, I've never seen her upset. I think the only time. Uh, she was at me, you know, and I think uh, from 19, 
from the time I, I can remember, which is 72 to uh, the time she passed away, it was 2017, so that's close to what, 45 years. In those 45 years, the only time she got upset with me was, uh, I think sometime in 1976 uh, or 75, I think I wasted some food and she got upset with me. And, and the fact that it upset her stayed with you know stayed with me uh, ever since. Uh, the point now that uh, I find it very difficult to waste any food, and I uh, end up sometimes uh, upsetting my digestion rather than wasting food. Uh, so that lesson stayed with me uh, very very long. Uh, the other thing. Uh, that I learned from her was to be polite. I think uh, she was polite to a fault. Uh, she'd never raise her voice with anyone. Um, she always treated. Uh, she would use up uh, while addressing every single person. Uh, and that's something that stayed with me, the importance of being polite. Uh, she was always positive. Uh, even during her latter years when she was in significant amount of discomfort at times uh, and in pain, uh, she would never complain. Uh, whenever you asked her how she was, she'd always say that she was well. Uh, she'd smile. Uh, the other, uh, the other thing I think that she's bequeathed me is, uh, you know, she was very fond of sweets. Uh, when she was in Delhi, uh, she would take a packet of sugar with her in her handbag to uh, dinner parties because she found that the North Indian sweets were rather mild. So she would uh, have a, uh, you know, she secretly add some sugar to the sweets uh, to make them palatable to her. So she, I think, bequeathed this taste for sweets uh, down to me. And uh, I think in turn, it's kind of gone down to our children as well. Uh, I think uh, the last thing that I want to uh, kind of uh, remember her for here in this, on this occasion is, uh, I think, in keeping with the, the poetry that is to follow is really the uh, her love for poetry, which uh, Amina auntie and my mother touched upon. Uh, the only verse uh, or share in Urdu that I remember is something that she uh, that came to her spontaneously while we were going back from Palam Airport, uh, where she had come to pick us up uh, in 1978, uh, and it was evening time, and it was. I think just about sunset, and uh, and I think my sister may have read this out last year. Um, so she said, "Suraj na jate jate shame khawasiya ko tashte o fakh se lekar lale ke pool mare." That's the only share I remember, and it's something I remember I've remembered ever since 1978. Um, she could, as I've said, uh, maybe. Produce verses as if on demand, and as per the context of the situation, uh, and and as Amin Auntie mentioned, she could do this uh, right till the time she passed away. So, in conclusion, I just like to say that I and I like to say out to her that I long to have you next to me, to know that you are here, even though when I I cannot see you, I feel that you're near. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is it possible for me to go next? Yes, perfect. I will spotlight. Thank you so much. So uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Iha Hussain. I'm uh, Asper's sister and Begum Khadija Ansari's granddaughter. Um, as Asper just mentioned just now, Suraj Nijate Jate Shane Siya Khabako Tashte Upak Se Lekar Lale Ke Khul Mare. This was my first brush with Urdu Shairi. 
we had asked my brother and i we had asked nani bee to teach us a shair that we could recite at get togethers in chandigarh um and she recited this verse from alama iqbal's pen and she repeated it again and again as we tried and failed to memorize it and then eventually as we wrote it down so deep was her love of poetry and so profound her knowledge that by the time you know we had uh, we had taken a breath or two she had found a verse that would trip easily off our childish tongues but still wowed the much older season years so immeasurable was her love for her grandchildren that in spite of the busyness of her elite world my grandparents moved in the same social circles as indira gandhi and uh, farooq abdullah and sheikh abdullah our concerns were no less in her eyes so vast was her patience that there was not an oof of irritation at our fumbled attempts to learn those lines and so light was the touch that that share is etched forever in our hearts that was my nani bi begum khadija ansari it is difficult to talk about her as a dispassionate observer when her thoughts and feelings and actions still echo in mind and she wouldn't have cared for it very much she was much too unworldly and self effacing for that but it is my pleasure and my privilege and i will give it a try she was more than just the daughter of a renowned educationist and freedom fighter more than just the wife of the chief justice of jammu and kashmir and chairman of the all india minorities commission more than just the mother of four talented children of seven adoring grandchildren and 11 riotous and loving great grandchildren she was so much more she was the beautiful young mother of three who insisted on sitting her ba english exam in small town nellor who would clutch her pen and parda and dash to the exam center who would host elegant mushairas at home and who was equally at ease quoting shakespeare and ghalib equally at ease hosting a high tea for president neelam sanjeeva reddy and at pouring tea full of milk out to us her grandchildren equally at ease donating her gold bangles to the nation's war fund as she was in gifting us gold finger rings for our birthdays and equally adept at managing the right home financials the very tight home financials in the early days of her marriage as at scanning for stocks during the liberalization bull run she was a rock solid support on which my grandfather could build his stellar career in the limelight an equally luminous partner a very hard working one who kept pace in the climb i remember the quick swish of the lipstick and kajal and the matching handbag for the visit to the bank because she could not appear disheveled in the public i remember the red cross stalls where she sold homemade rasmalai to raise funds and i remember her regular rotary club contributions she had a core of steel she drew strength from her strong faith in allah not many know that she was also the de facto qazi of nellore in the long years after my grandfather passed away she was quietly religious in herself i can see her still sitting on her chair tucking the folds of her white chadar and beckoning me near to walk to duas over me i can see her determinedly climbing the stairs to catch her first glimpse of my son and give him her blessings and i remember her insistence on using the walker and not the wheelchair for her grandchildren's bismillah she had a green thumb plants dogs cats and children flourished around her she enjoyed life and made sure we enjoyed it too we had some grand experiences unforgettable ones the chain accidentally pulled in the train on the way back from visiting taj mahal don't ask me how we got out of that one extreme indulgences walking up and down palika bazaar in delhi to find pencil heels for my 4 year old sister who refused to go home without them or ironing my bed my 18 year old bed for me in srinagar so that i wouldn't feel cold in the wintry october nights no ask was too much she gave even when we didn't ask she stood at the stove stirring the hot badam for the jali for my wedding it was a love with which she crafted them that made them extra sweet if anything defined her it was her love of desserts heavy mithas andon ki pyosi kaddu ke laws badam ka harira that she joyously made and pushed on to us she could go without dinner but not dessert and she always carried some sweets in her purse to formal dinners in case their desserts were not up to her standards 
Sweets Apart, it was our cat, the book, the great grandchildren, and the Mushaira on TV that made her smile. In her last years, she suffered her ill health stoically with a shade on her lips. But her interest in this world was visibly waning. Once when I asked her, she recited to me Zafar's classic Sheer. Lagta nahi hai dil mera ujde dayar mein. Kis ki bani hai alam e na paaye dar mein. Not many days after, she left for a better place. But she left behind a legacy of courage, of sabar, of grace, of generosity, of faith, of love, of, a, of appreciation of beauty. She would always say, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. And of beauty that was not of this world. So I choose another verse from Alama Iqbal's very same Bazme Anjo for her. Wa dur rehne wale hangame hangama e jahan se kehta hai jinko insan apni zuba me taare. That's what I choose for her. I, we, we miss her, we all miss her tremendously. May she continue to shine bright on us and shower us with her blessings. And may Allah grant her maghfirat and jannat e firdaus. Thank you for listening to me. And I have with me, Mateen uh, Auntie, I uh, have with me uh, what her son, my Chote Mamu, has sent from the US. Uh, and I wonder if it's okay to quickly read uh, the few verses that he has sent. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, this is what Muhammad Siraj Ansari, her youngest son, writes for her. It's titled, Running Against the Wind, an Elegy to Ami. Challenging traditions and yet living with tradition. Ami was a valiant soldier caught up in troubling times. A young bride and soon a comforting mother, running against the winds of change. Family storms she weathered with calm and clear sight of sunshine. Loss of infant daughters deterred her not in the sustenance of her faith. Ensured family health and fought her own afflictions. Enduring the wings of anguish and pain. Transitory was life around her, but in ways she controlled, seeking and realizing her dream of a college degree. While running the house of children and servants, running against the winds of values unacceptable. We were her students of Shakespeare, as she often stressed the message of truth. In the sad story of the aging king, accepting flattery and rejecting truth, overcoming the winds of realities, harsh and unkind. Death, the unwelcome visitor, struck her many a time. Brothers, sisters, parents, the ultimate pain of Baba's death, she bore in dignity and faith. Her own death, she knew, was approaching, running against the winds unstoppable. Ami lived her life of love and compassion. Her one dog from Nellur, her many cats, were her companions in times of distress. Her children, her grandchildren, and their kids had her caring concern. Yet, Ami was always running against the winds and winning. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Thanks. Um, I'm going to now hand over the meeting to uh, Elizabeth Curian. Are you able to unmute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think now I'm unmuted. Yes. We thank, can thank you very ahead. much, yes, I mean, you are organizing it very well. And it was uh, nice to hear so much about uh,
Khatija madam. And you know, they say seeing the daughter is like half seeing the mother. So I've been uh, seeing uh, Farida madam. So I can just guess how much her mother would have been in a late or earlier generation. Um, our connection is also like through her husband, both of us, means he was a senior officer in RBI Hyderabad and executive director in uh, RBI Bombay. So we uh, used to meet quite a lot, Farida Madam, uh, for our programs and all. So uh, thanks a lot. And uh, I would like to, we are having four English poets, poetesses rather. So the first one is uh, Dr. Aniyama Joseph. Uh, she has retired as reader and uh, HOD of English from BK College, Kottam, Kerala. She has authored seven books, four in Malayalam and three in English, comprising poems, essays, novels, and translations. Dr. Aniyama is the founder president of an association of women writers in Malayalam and English named Akshara Stri, the literary woman. Uh, Professor uh, Aniyama Joseph, please read your poem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, the, uh, so at the very outset, I would like to uh, thank the organizers and along with them, uh, Ms. Elizabeth Kurian, for giving me an opportunity to present, to be present on this auspicious occasion and uh, recite my short poem on my mother. Well, I have been listening to a glorious, I mean, the, the words about a glorious mother. She had been exposed to many different uh, fields. Uh, I, I feel that, you know, she has been, she had been a, vers, a woman of versatility because she was exposed to so many things, uh, poetry and from her teenage, you know, the political, uh, cultural, sociological. Uh, she was a woman of uh, sensitivity and sensibility. So naturally, she was prone to poetry as well. So a lot of things were shared by uh, her children and grandchildren. And maybe it is God's design uh, for me to be part of this auspicious occasion. Because I uh, never knew this family, but I have got an opportunity to be uh, one with this family who have who are posting this function in commemoration of the memory of their mother or grandmother. So thank you all once again. Thank you very much. Then uh, let me come to my poem on my mother. My mother passed away in 2011 uh, at the age of 99. First September was her birthday. Again, it is designed by God to recite this poem about her. This actually I wrote in 2019. Now to the poem, my mother. Home was not home when my mother was away. Rooms were hollow when my mother was silent. We listened intently. Such was her narrative skill, hardworking and assiduous. She worked wonders on her farm, growing cabbage, tomato, and chicory, beans, peas, and cauliflower. She did wonders in her kitchen, making all sorts of delicacies. In crisis, she stood as a stalwart, overcoming all familial hurdles. Softness, disguised in harshness. Sweetness, hidden in anger. Able, an embodiment of perseverance. The hand that cheered our home. The hand that stretched the hem of the blanket to me in my sleep, the care in the far end of the night, the love that made me a child again. It was my Ammachi, my mother. Did I love her enough? 
as a petal withers or a feather falls softly mutely of did she fall thank you thank you so much tanya ma ammachi means a grand grandmother in malayalam so whether no, nani no, daddy ammachi mother ammachi no, mother, 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 mother i mean in our place we call ammachi grandmother it means grandmother yeah, yeah. Uh, so i think there's a like uh, from place to place uh, what we call also changes but whatever it the person remains the same a granny is always a granny whatever you call her in fact my granddaughter calls me itta i don't know why but she has got that everybody else calls me itta not amuchi also okay now let's come to our next poet poet is sabita sahu she is uh, from barhampur odisha she does she has a masters degree in english literature and also an emed she has been teaching english in a couple of schools sabita writes uh, poetry in hindi english and odia she has been running a blog since 2017 publishing one of uh, one of her poems every sunday and one reflective essay by professor prafulla kumar mohanty a sahitya academy winner she has published two volumes of english poems one in odia and the fourth one is in the press please uh, welcome ms sabita very good evening to everybody am i audible yeah sure you are yeah first of all let me thank um, dubara for inviting me and taking me as a member of uh, Uh, dobara to participate in ek sham ma ke naam ma sab ki ek hi hai chahe jaisi bhi ho lekin ma she is worshiped as the primal goddess and she brings us to this world she brings us she religious releases us to the larger world she teaches us she remains manifests and unmanifests in our beings once she is gone we feel the void in our private worlds today on this somber occasion of aaj ke sam ma ke naam remembering the mother i present my poem o oh mother as a tribute returning from the crematorium everyone sat down heads down i sat in my lonely room and prayed my mother's face flashed before me as if beckoning me for breakfast I stood up in a start. Yes, mom, I'm coming. I'm hungry of your love. Kiss me with your beautiful face. Hold me in your arms till I breathe your aroma to freshen me to face life again. You know how I was always naughty. always demanding everything exclusive i felt i am only one one human and you my mother you are my universe now i see shadows around me energies dissipating into hate you gave me love you gave me strength to face the stabs of life now i am alone don't be in my memory don't be my memory be my living strength enter me o oh mother enter me o oh mother vibrate my energies to brighten the world to brighten the brighten the world thank you thank you that was a lovely poem sabita 
and mm-hmm. whenever we think of our mother or whatever i age we may be grandmothers but we still think of ourselves as children so uh, that was a lovely poem now i come to the next third poet that is my friend annie george annie george is also from kerala kottayam she is a poet and an amateur artist she is a good dancer too she had her primary education in west bengal and higher education in kerala she is now a section officer in the mahatma gandhi university kottayam uh, annie is the editor of uh, roots and wings an anthology of indian women writing in english a landmark work chronicling poems of 42 indian women poets she is also the author of two poetry collections gladioli and other poems and distressing border is her translation of p surendran's malayalam short stories so welcome ani good evening to everybody happy to be here uh, on invitation from dubara um and uh, the warm invitation extended by elizabeth um uh, this is uh, just uh, coincidental that i am also taking care of my uh, 90 year old mother uh, she stays uh, one year uh, one hour uh, away from my place i go and visit her once a week and lend a helping hand to my brother who's taking care of her totally um and uh, this is just awesome uh, i just i don't know how to express my gratitude to selecting this theme and i'm going to read uh, a poem uh, of via santosh um, uh, uh, my poet friend uh, whose poem i've translated into english from the original in malayalam uh, the name of the poem is when mother is dishwashing Oh very when nice. mother is dishwashing the leftovers come alive the fish bones swim to the nearby stream the curry leaves rustle up to the nearest neem tree in the yard the chilies reach the kitchen garden to conjure up a friendly chat the rice reaches the paddy field for a get together of the grains the water reaches the well watches the moss meaningfully settles the scores to come with her back bent double over the dishes only mother remains left over thank wow, you wow, thank wow. you once again that was a, a very t- heart touching poem only mother is a left over out of all this how much mothers do for us and then uh, uh, when we remember it we think we have not done enough for her uh, my mother passed away when she was just 57 i had just got married and uh, Uh, like uh, i would like to read a poem and you know uh, i i have to introduce myself anyway my i am elizabeth kurian mona is my pen name and um, i am a, a non resident keralite my parents are from roots are in kerala and the tree is in hyderabad i am a pakka hyderabadi and uh, i write in uh, english hindi urdu telugu and malayalam translations poetry etc i have published about uh, 15 or 16 books right now so now this is from my uh, poem uh, first book beyond images it's called uh, bereavement mother is no more mother is no more words that strike the mind like lightning benumb the heart like ice shatter one's word one's world like an earthquake a yawning void remains which never can be filled guilt for not having reciprocated her love even partially always taking for granted her silent sacrifices a simmering ache permeates the sorrowing heart 
as time passes it is buried in the subconscious mind only to surface now and again thank you so that is the end of the english session now over to um tasneem or matin Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Yes, Kirin. I'm going to see if I can uh, spotlight the... Yes, here we go. Um, our next poet, poetess, is uh, Tasneem Jaw. Hi. Hi. Are you able to unmute? Yeah, I think uh, she can. G, G. Yeah, it work. It's working now. So, so uh, uh, she's been titled uh, the Nightingale of Telangana, and she's an award-winning poetess. And any time of the day or night, she's ready with a poem to recite. Welcome, Tasneem. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Matin Baji. मैं तहे दिल से आपका शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ कि आपने इतनी बेहतरीन महफिल सजाई और इतनी मुतबर महफिल सजाई लोगों को शायरा को शोरा को अपनी माँ को याद करने का मौका मिला लोग याद करते हैं आंसू बहाते हैं खुश होते हैं याद करके आपने खुशी और गम दोनों का इज्तमी तौर पर यहाँ इजहार का मौका हम लोगों को दिया है मैं आपका बहुत गहरे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ और मुझे जिस तरह चुना गया था मेरी नजम को मुझे फर्स्ट प्राइज दिया गया था दोबारा की तरफ से मैं उसकी भी शुक्रगुजार हूँ और आज मुझे ये मौका देने के लिए फिर एक बार सबका शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ खासतौर से दोबारा का इजाजत है शुरू करना चाहूंगी जी एक शेर है मेरा पहले पहला शेर के माँ बिछड़ रही थी बिछड़ते वक्त का सब एहतमाम करना था बिछड़ते वक्त का सब एहतमाम करना था वो जा रही थी मुझे एहतमाम करना था वो जा रही थी मुझे एहतमाम करना था चलिए मैं सुनाती हूँ अम्मी की यादें नहीं भूल सकती वो अम्मी की यादें नहीं भूल सकती वो अम्मी की यादें वो सोने के दिन थे वो चांदी की रातें वो सोने के दिन थे वो चांदी की रातें वो रह रह के अम्मी का आंचल पकड़ना वो रह रह के अम्मी का आंचल पकड़ना वो अब्बा की साइकिल के पीछे लपकना वो अब्बा की साइकिल के पीछे लपकना उजाले में रहकर अंधेरों से डरना वो डरने सहमने झिझकने की बातें नहीं भूल सकती वो अम्मी की यादें नहीं भूल सकती वो अम्मी की यादें दरख्तों से इमली झड़ाने के मौसम दरख्तों से इमली झड़ाने के मौसम वो अमरे से कैरी चुराने के मौसम वो अमरे से कैरी चुराने के मौसम कभी बाग से जाम उड़ाने के मौसम शरारत भरी चुलबुली सी वो बातें नहीं भूल सकती वो अम्मी की यादें नहीं भूल सकती वो अम्मी की यादें हरी घास में बिरबा बोटी पकड़ना हरी घास में बिरबा बोटी पकड़ना ताकुब में पातरनियों के भटकना ताकुब में पातरनियों के भटकना अंधेरे में जुगनों के पीछे लपकना अंधेरे में जुगनों के पीछे लपकना पहाड़ों से आंखें मिलाने की बातें वो अम्मी की आंखें वो अम्मी की यादें नहीं भूल सकती वो बचपन की यादें वो अम्मी की यादें बुने लंबी डंडी के फूलों के बदले आई थिंक यू ऑल रिमेम्बर लंबी डंडी के फूल बुने लंबी बुने लंबी डंडी के फूलों के बदले किताबों में रखते थे पीपल के पत्ते किताबों में रखते थे पीपल के पत्ते सजाते थे पलकों के सब खाप सच्चे सजाते थे पलकों के सब खाप सच्चे किताबों में यादें छिपाने की बातें नहीं भूल सकती वो अम्मी की बातें वो चंद्रा सुनीता 
جمیلا رشیدہ سہیلی وہ بچپن کی میری کی دنیا وہ ہولی دیوالی وہ عیدوں کی دنیا وہ سب سے دوپٹے بدلنے کی باتیں وہ نہیں بھول سکتی وہ امی کی باتیں کلائی میں چوڑی کھنکنے کی باتیں وہ امی کا دستے ہنائی کی وہ امی کے دستے ہنائی کی باتیں سہیلی سے چٹکے سے من کی وہ باتیں چہکنے بہکنے سنبھلنے کی باتیں سنبھلنے کی باتیں چہکنے کی باتیں وہ چٹکے سے موسم بدلنے کی باتیں وہ امی کی یادیں وہ امی کی باتیں نہیں بھول سکتی وہ امی کی باتیں زد چاند کو گھر میں لائیں گے ایک دن زد چاند کو گھر میں لائیں گے ایک دن ستاروں سے آنچل سجائیں گے ایک دن ستاروں سے آنچل سجائیں گے ایک دن بہاروں سے خوشبو چرائیں گے ایک دن زد زد کیسی ایسی ایسی ویسی کہ امی کو بنا زد ایسی ویسی کہ ماں کو منائیں جب خواہشوں کی سلونی سی باتیں نہیں بھول سکتی وہ بچپن کی یادیں نہیں بھول سکتی وہ امی کی یادیں وہی چاند ہے وہی چاند ہے آج بھی آسمان ستارے وہی ہیں سبھی کہ بہار اب بھی آئے وہی گل میں مگر کیوں رلائیں وہ امی کی باتیں نہیں بھول سکتی وہ امی کی یادیں نہیں بھول سکتی وہ امی کی یادیں وہ سونے کے دن سے وہ چاندی کی راتیں سجاتے کے سب جاتے تھے محراب میں سب کھلونے انہیں اپنے ہاتھوں سے گڑیوں کے کپڑے سیے اپنے ہاتھوں سے گڑیوں کے کپڑے کئی دوست کیے کئی دوستوں سے کیے ہر بار جھگڑے وہ رونے جھگڑنے منانے کی باتیں نہیں بھول سکتی وہ امی کی یادیں رلاتی ہیں تسلیم بچپن کی یادیں رلاتی ہیں تسلیم امی کی یادیں کہاں کھو گئے کہاں کھو گئے دن وہ امی کی باتیں جوانی کے ٹکڑے بڑھاپے کی کھاتے نہیں بھول سکتی وہ بچپن کی یادیں بہت بہت شکریہ شکریہ بہت بہت شکریہ Um, I'm going to introduce our next um, poet, poetess, <laughs> poet. Um, our next poet has come um, from Glendale Academy. She is in the ninth grade and her teacher, Dr. Alia Khan, was so impressed by her that she um, sent in Sayeda Haifa and her poem to Dabara. And we are so happy to have you here. Haifa, please go ahead and unmute. And thank you. you. Good evening, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Nazreen, I am Sayyada Haifa, Nuhum Jamaat ki talibah ho. Ek bachche ke liye apni maa bhoat anmol ho diya. Is dunia mein maa ka martaba aur koi nahi le sakta. Isi liye maa har bachche ki jaan ho diya. میں اسی موضوع پر اپنے خیالات کا اظہار کرتی ہوں میری ماں میری جان تیری محبت کا ہے ایک حسین افسانہ تیری آغوش میں بہشت کے پھولوں کی خوشبو تیری محبت کا ہے ایک حسین افسانہ تیری آغوش میں بہشت کے پھولوں کی خوشبو تجھ سے دل لگی کہ انتہا بیاں کے قابل نہیں تیری باہوں میں رہنے کی ہے آرج تیری گود میں پلے بڑے ہیں ہم ان یادوں سے ہے دل کشی تیری گود میں پلے بڑے ہیں ہم ان یادوں سے ہے دل کشی میرے دل کی کہکشاں ہے تو تیرے قدموں میں ہے جنت میری اس مسکراہٹ سے ہے میرا دل سوزے درو ان آنکھوں میں چاہت کی انمول ایک چمک مسکراہٹ سے ہے میرا دل سوزے درو ان آنکھوں میں چاہت کی انمول ایک چمک میرے آسمان کے ہزاروں تاروں کا چاند ہے تو تیرے چہرے پہ معصوم سی ایک نور کی جھلک میرے دل کے گلشن میں بہار تجھ سے ہے اور تاریکیوں میں چراغ ہے تو میرے دل کے گلشن میں بہار تجھ سے ہے اور تاریکیوں میں چراغ ہے تو خوشی ہو غم ہو ہر پل ساتھ ہے تو اے ماں میری ماں میری جان ہے تو اے ماں میری ماں میری جان ہے تو شکریہ
बहुत बहुत अच्छा बहुत थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हाइफा थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग एंड ज्वाइनिंग अस टुडे थैंक यू मैम फॉर जॉइन um i would like to check if um riaz and uh, sarvatapa are um are ready to go ahead with their um can you guys hear me ji okay Uh, there very much there assalamu alaikum namaste and uh, good evening good evening and good evening thank you i'm getting very emotional listening to all the poets uh, each and every bit of uh, everything has been told and described mother and still words are there uh you know i'm not finding any words like to describe how i'm feeling right now right now and i'm sarvat fatima here and i got an invitation from dubara by uh, riyaz my brother and uh, dubara is a very good organization my mother was there uh, last april like this april only this april she visited february february i'm sorry yeah, february okay. yeah when uh, dubara was having a get together there she was all the more present and there was there is a snap of hers in a red sari and uh, yeah very lucky i am that i have her daughter and uh, let me begin i'm getting little emotional as many of us all are getting yes and <clears throat> all thanks to matin mm-hmm. ma'am how can i <laughs> say her she is an inspiration and thank you samin thank you so much for this opportunity i would like to begin with a small little introduction of my mother and a little bit of poetry from allama iqbal can i go with this thank you so god almighty is everywhere but he took at most care to gift a mother to each and every creature each and every creature on this earth and ashraf al makhlukat hai hum log hamari sabse zyada hamara darja hai tamam makhlukat mein tamam creatures mein we are human beings so we are lucky that we have mother we all have mother mothers we have we become mothers and we have grandmothers we have uh, uh, such khalas puppus you know nannies and uh, kind of yeah various shapes to our mind all shapes all uh, figures all faces of mothers we have around us and uh, one such was my mother one such was my mother a very pretty lady a beautiful soul uh, inside soul inside her name was lulu taslim as many of you must be knowing lulu taslim uh, this was her name and it stands for lulu means moti a pearl many of you must be understanding this but still i would like to say that taslim means qubool karna taslim qubool karna acceptance and it is like it stands to be like for a pearl to be accepted it got accepted it got really accepted in this world and uh, by her dear ones and as well everyone and i believe and hope she enjoys a very merry full year after thereafter her being one of a child uh, without parents her parents expired when she was just 5 to 6 years old and was brought up by her grandparents maternal grandparents her nani and mamu and uh, all those people and she was just around 7 she lost her mother and father both and uh, her mamu and nani they all brought her up and she uh, that those days she was just 16 that she matriculated and she failed in mathematics and <laughs> she failed in mathematics and she got married after getting married she we all were there and she uh, she was married to uh, nawab's family so she carried all the more everything like whatever uh, rituals and everything she was the only bahu of the family 
a huge you know extended family she uh, did all her works and we cannot say as many of our mothers have done those days right uh, to just say that everyone those days women were so active those those uh, days there were no grinders there were no vacuum cleaners there were no uh, such things and uh, we have seen many uh, such things around her she doing every all the course of the house and uh, she passed ba in hindi she started studying again after marriage and after all six of us were born and she started and she was hindi vidwan and she played an immense role in our brought up starting from each and everything that she taught all of us so at this moment when she is no more recently she passed away so this occasion is a uh, moment uh, this occasion is too much for us too much good mm -hmm. and emotional and you know i will it is memorable for us very much memorable for us that recently we lost her so will always be there with us uh ek mujhe ek sher yaad aa raha hai is moment pe yahan sab bade bade log hai baithe hue hai छोटा सा शेर मुझे याद आ रहा है कि उम्र भर तेरी मोहब्बत उम्र भर तेरी मोहब्बत मेरी खिदमत कर रही उम्र भर तेरी मोहब्बत मेरी खिदमत कर रही उम्र भर तेरी दुआ मेरी खिदमत कर रही मैं तेरी खिदमत के काबिल जब हुआ तो तू चल बस तो वो इट्स वेरी पेनफुल फॉर मी आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल टू प्रे फॉर हर दैट शी rest in peace and get morning morning uh, uh, there after and on this precious occasion that i grab with a lot of gratitude in my heart for the bar i would like to present my thanks thanks would be indeed a tiny word to just fill the formality thing and i'm bounded with all my heart towards you all present here especially the organizers the ones who all are related with making it a successful one each and every one of you all present here a huge thank you a huge thank you thanks a ton love you all so much god bless us all thank you thank you both so much um i'm just going to ask um shreya aunty do you think uh, you're ready to go now happy ha huh. you muted yourself aunty one more time no we can't hear you can you un uh -huh. try now, now? now? Yes. can you hear me Yes, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Awesome. Shall I? Please go ahead. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I'm sitting here since four o'clock, listening to all the nice stories and all the emotions, and they've all touched my heart. And thank you, Nasim and Martin, for this wonderful opportunity. I'm reading here because um. i want to mention begum khadija ansari's family who um told all the inspiring stories about her and i am touched by it and i think i'll carry those memories in my heart always you know a mother and that was the beginning and after that came all the mothers i'm going to carry all those precious memories and the feelings that you have poured out from your heart now in front of us i'm going to take it forward with me and um it will be something like food for the soul very nice and now i shall turn to my mother well i had a mother who was a very busy mother she was a working woman and she beautifully managed household and her work and everything else she was there when we were sick she was there for our uh, birthdays for all occasions for festivals she wasn't there when we came back from school but we never realized it. we thought mothers are like this and later on when we saw that most mothers are there to 
um, take their children home when they came from school, we were like, oh, doesn't matter, we didn't miss much. So when she was very busy, she had many, many rules for us. Do this, don't do that. And I felt very cheated because the rest of my friends, I thought, had a very nice life, liberties and this and that. But now I'm writing about her. I lost her in uh, 2010. And today when I got a, uh, and, and that day when I got a message from Martin and Nassim, I, it just came forth from my heart. And I have written this in my mother tongue, Hindi. So here it is. <clears throat> can, I, can you everyone hear me? Can you hear me? Perfectly, perfectly. We can hear you really well. Yes, yes, uh, we can. Uh, okay, Ma. Sari zindagi mehnat ki. Ek saath kai jimmebariya nibhati rahi. Jise rishte sawarne ki bhi thi na pursat. Pal bhar na thami. Na ruki. न देखने निहारने अपनी ही उपलब्धियां आगे और आगे जाने कहां तक जाना था उसे कोई मंजिल नहीं कोई पड़ाव नहीं क्योंकि मंजिलें कई थी मंजिलें और भी थी आज सब शांत है स्थिर है समाप्त है वो नहीं है बस रह गया है एक एहसास कि वो सर व्यापी है कि वो हर जगह है हर जगह मेरी बातों में मेरी सोच में हर दिन हर वक्त हर पल हर सोच में तुम हो माँ याद है सारी नसीहतें सारे नियम कानून तुम्हारे देखो मैं चल रही हूँ तुम्हारे बताए रास्ते पर वो बंदिशें जो खटकती थी कभी आज संबल है मेरा आज सहारा है मेरा माँ जी रही हूँ तुम मेरे साथ थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू नसीम दैट वाज इट फ्रॉम माय साइड थैंक यू सो मच आई डोंट नो हाउ एनीवन इज गेटिंग थ्रू दिस मीटिंग विदाउट हैविंग टिश्यूज बाय देयर साइड इट इज इट इज एन इमोशनल नाइट थैंक यू ऑल फॉर दिस ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड्स um sorry I'm just going to um, I'm going to check to see if our next um, speakers are here. I'm just going to meet now. Um, is um, Sarvatanti here? Sarvatanti from Canada. Are you in the audience by any chance? If not, we will go ahead and. Um, Sarvatara from Canada. Yeah. But I don't see her in the audience, so we'll just go ahead, Mama. Um, I'm going to put a spotlight on Rafia Noshin. She had also spoken last year at our um, Eksham Makinam, and that was also beautiful. So welcome back. Uh. <laughs> दोबारा की इस एक शाम माँ के नाम में सबको मेरा सलाम और आ, मेरी आवाज सब तक पहुंच रही होगी जी जरूर जी तो आ, सबसे पहले तो मैं फरीदा अंसारी साहिबा को मुबारकबाद पेश करती हूँ कि मुसलसल तीन साल से लगातार वो ये प्रोग्राम कर रही हैं अपनी माँ की याद में और हम सबको एक मौका फराहम कर रही हैं जहां पर हम सब बैठकर अपने माँ के बारे में अपने ख्याल का इजहार कर सकते हैं और मती नापा के लिए समीन के लिए और दोबारा की सारी टीम के लिए मैं मुबारकबाद के साथ शुक्रिया भी अदा करना चाहूंगी ये मौका फराहम करने के लिए और बहुत खुशी हो रही है आज यहाँ पर अमीना किश्वर साहिबा है और आलिया खान साहिबा है सब आप सब को देखकर बहुत खुशी हो रही है एक जमाने के बाद तो आज मैं आ, एक आ, अपना छोटा सा मजमून सुनाने जा रही हूँ माँ के बारे में इसमें बताया गया है कि किस तरह से एक माँ अपने बच्चों को बड़ा करती है और फिर जब हमें ये एहसास होता है कि माँ हमें छोड़कर चली गई है लेकिन वो वाकई में जाती नहीं है वो तो हम ही में मौजूद होती है इस पूरे कॉन्सेप्ट को इस कहानी में बताया गया है सुनिएगा और इसका उन्वान है माँ का साया 
एक नौजवान माँ ने जिंदगी के रास्ते पर जब पहला कदम रखा तो सोचने लगी कि इतनी तवील जिंदगी वो कैसे गुजारेगी क्या ये पुरखार और पुरखतर नहीं होगी क्या इन तमाम तकालीफ और आजमाइशों के बाद वो अपनी मंजिल मकसूद तक पहुंच पाएगी उसके रहबर ने कहा हाँ रास्ता जरूर कठिन है और तुम अपनी मंजिल तक पहुंचते पहुंचते बूढ़ी हो जाओगी लेकिन अंजाम आगाज से कहीं ज्यादा बेहतर होगा नौजवान माँ खुश थी अपने प्यारे प्यारे गोल मटोल बच्चों के साथ उनके नन्हे मुन्ने हाथों का लम्स और मासूम मुस्कुराहट में इतनी कशिश होती कि उनके सामने कायनात की सारी चीजें हीच दिखाई देती उसे यकीन ही नहीं होता कि इन हसीन पलों से बढ़कर भी कोई पल हो सकता है लिहाजा वो अपने बच्चों से खेलने लगी हरी भरी वादियों से उनके लिए फूल जमा करने लगी झील के शफाफ पानी में उन्हें नहलाया और जब सूरज की रोशनी उन पर पड़ी तो वो हीरे के मानी चमकने लगे उन्हें देखकर वो खुशी से बावली हो गई कितने प्यारे लग रहे हैं मेरे बच्चे इन सूरज की सुनहरी किरणों में नहाए हुए भला इससे प्यारा भी कोई नजारा हो सकता है रात ने जब अपना आंचल लहराया तो तूफान उठ खड़ा हुआ रास्ता वीरान और अंधेरा हो गया घटा टोप अंधेरा छा गया बच्चे खौफ और सर्दी से कांपने लगे माँ ने उन्हें अपने सीने से लगा लिया और अपने आंचल में छुपा लिया तब बच्चों ने कहा माँ अब हमें कोई खौफ नहीं क्योंकि तुम हमारे पास हो और जब तक तुम हमारे पास होगी हमें कोई नुकसान नहीं होगा कोई तकलीफ नहीं पहुंचेगी चाहे आंधी आए या तूफान तुम हमारे लिए हर एक से लड़ सकती हो सुबह हुई सामने एक पहाड़ था बच्चे पहाड़ पर चढ़ने लगे कि उनकी फितरत मेहमाती थी और फिर जल्द ही तकन थकन से चूर चूर होने लगे माँ उनके साथ ही थी और वो उनसे ज्यादा थक गई मगर अपने बच्चों से मुसलसल यही कहती रही कि थोड़ा हिम्मत और सब्र से काम लोगे तो हम उस पहाड़ की चोटी पर पहुंच जाएंगे लिहाजा बच्चे चढ़ने लगे जब पहाड़ की चोटी पर पहुंच गए तो कहने लगे माँ ये तुम्हारे बगैर मुमकिन न था रात को जब वो लेटी तो आसमान पर तारे टिमटिमा रहे थे वो उन्हें देखते हुए सोचने लगी आज का दिन कल से बेहतर है क्योंकि मेरे बच्चों ने सख्तियों को झेलना सीख लिया है कल मैंने उनकी हिम्मत बंधाई थी आज मैंने उन्हें ताकत दी है मुसम्म अजम इरादे की ताकत के जो करना है सो करना है अगला दिन आया काले काले घटाटो बादलों ने जमीन पर अंधेरा बिखेर दिया जंग के बादल नफरत और बुराई के बादल बच्चे घबरा गए लड़खड़ा गए टटोल टटोल कर देखने लगे कि कहा क्या है किधर जाना है कैसे अपने आप को इन अंधेरों से निकालना है माँ ने कहा बच्चों घबराओ मत नागहानी मुसीबतें जिंदगी का लाजमी जुज है अपनी आंखों को नूर की उस किरण की तरफ मोड़ो जो घने बादलों की ओर से निकल कर आ रही है अमन और सुकून की किरण मोहब्बत की किरण बच्चों ने उस तरफ देखा तो एक खुशियों की लहर उनके चेहरे पर दौड़ गई उस रोशनी की नन्हे सी किरण ने उन्हें अंधेरों से आगे का रास्ता बता दिया था उस रात माँ अपने आप से कहने लगी ये दिन तमाम दिनों में सबसे अच्छा है क्योंकि मैंने अपने बच्चों को खुदा के नूर से मिलाया है उन्हें बताया है कि किस तरह मुसीबतों में खुदा से रहम की उम्मीद रखना है और उससे मदद मांगना है कि वही सब कुछ करने वाला है दिन गुजरते रहे हफ्ते महीने और साल माँ बूढ़ी होने लगी वो बहुत कमजोर हो गई थी और झुक गई थी लेकिन उसके बच्चे खदावर और ताकतवर हो गए थे अब वो हिम्मत से चलते थे जब रास्ता दुश्वार होता, 
तो वो अपनी माँ को आसानी से उठा लेते क्योंकि वो बहुत हल्की फुल्की हो गई थी परिंदे की पर की तरह आखिरकार वो पहाड़ पर आ गए जिसके आगे एक चमकदार सड़क थी जो उस सुनहरी दरवाजे पर खत्म होती थी जिसके दोनों दर खुले थे माँ ने कहा मैं अपना सफर के अख्ताम पर पहुंच गई हूँ और अब मुझे पता चल गया कि अंजाम आगाज से कहीं ज्यादा अच्छा होता है क्योंकि आज मेरे बच्चे अपने पैरों पर चल सकते हैं और उनके बच्चे उनके पीछे बच्चों ने कहा माँ तुम हमेशा हमारे साथ चलती रहोगी तब भी जब तुम इस दरवाजे से हमेशा के लिए अंदर चली जाओगी और वो खड़े अपनी माँ को उस सुनहरी दरवाजे से अंदर जाते देखते रहे और उसके जाने के बाद उसके पीछे दरवाजे बंद हो गए बच्चे सोच रहे थे अब हम अपनी माँ को नहीं देख सकते लेकिन वो आज भी हमारे साथ है माँ हमारी जैसी माँ यादों से कहीं बढ़कर होती है वो आज भी जिंदा है और हमारे बीच मौजूद है हमारी माँ हमेशा हमारे साथ है जब हम चलते हैं तो वो पत्तों की सरसराहट के रूप में हमारे साथ होती है हमारे धुले कपड़ों में वो खुशबू की तरह बसती है जब हम बीमार होते हैं तो उसका शफकत आमेज हाथ हमेशा हमारे सर पर होता है हमारी माँ हमारी हंसी में बसती है हमारे हर आंसू के लिए गम का मुदावा होती है वो उस जगह है जहां से बनी नौ आदम ने अपना पहला कदम बाहर निकाला था और जहां सब को वापस जाना है वो एक ऐसा साया है जिसका हर कदम हमने पीछा किया था वही हमारा पहला प्यार और पहला गुस्सा है और जमीन पर कोई चीज हमें उससे जुदा नहीं कर सकती न वक्त न मुखाम और न ही मौत बहुत बहुत Thank you all very much. I'm just going to check and see if uh, Sarvat Ara is here from Canada, and if Madhu Sharma is in the audience as well. Okay, we can't hear anyone. So, Mom, um, would you like to take over? Yes, thank, thank you, everyone, you. for your participation, for making this evening memorable, and helping each of us remember the qualities of a mother. Thank you once again, and thank you, Farida, and family, uh, Anis Bhai, Asfar, Sabiha, and Nishat, the youngest daughter, who's the author of a book. Nishat has never been on the screen with us, but we remember you, Nishat. <laughs> And thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, Elizabeth Kurian, for the group you introduced us to. And we all will say goodbye with the thought of mothers in our heart today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, would thank Would you. Farida Aunty like to say something before we close? Hello, Sa Hello, Samin. Okay. Uh, this is Dr. Pratap Reddy. I have sent you a message. G. Yes, uh, Dr. Pratap Reddy. One moment, Dr. Pratap Reddy. Farida Aunty, would you like to say anything? Uh... Thank you very much. Uh, it was very moving uh, uh, evening. We could uh, recollect our mothers and uh, their uh, contribution to our life, and uh, it's uh, you know it gives the satisfaction. that uh, so much uh, has been told about others and their appreciation for their contribution into our life i think we should carry on this program again and again so that uh, uh, you know we can always pay tribute to our mothers who have uh, given us so much 
for this great introduction. Thank you so much. Paridanti, I would like to say thank you to you and your family for consistently um, uh, motivating us to organize this event, for um, creating this beautiful forum where we hear such beautiful poetry, um, words that come right from the heart, um, and a, a time to you know, feel the emotions that we're all feeling alone, but then at the same time we feel them together. Um, what a beautiful legacy. Um, of your mother, and we're so, so happy to be a part of it. There, Say something? Is Sarvatara here? No, but yeah, I think... Yeah. I think Dr. Khalil also wants to say something. Uh, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Namaskar. Jazakallah khair, Mateen Sahiba. It was so nice of you. You have rekindled the old memories of my mother, mother-in-law. My eyes are wet. It was emotional, uh, this one rendering they have done. Subhanallah, it was great, great evening. Anyhow, thank you very much. Jazakallah khair, Mati Sahib. It's all because of you I joined. I was wondering, what is this Dubara about? Now I know what it <laughs> is. Wish you all the best in future endeavors also. Inshallah. Ameen, Subham Ameen. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Would you like to put the Dubara address or number, Sami? Sure. Um, for anyone who wants to hear, know more about Dubara, wants to join Dubara as a member, we're a really fun uh, community. Um, you can check out our uh, website, dobara.org. And if you want to help, uh, you know, want us to work with you on something, info at dobara.org is our email address. Looking forward to hearing from you and um, come join us. We'd be so happy to have you on board. All right. Good night, everyone. Thank you all. Bye.